cleared. And the guard says, it's late. Class is over. You can go back to your cells. Good night. This is the moment. Fault line. Yeah, she's like a big sister to me because she, uh, we had the same uh, appreciation for silence. We discovered that even though it seemed like she wasn't shy, she was. Yeah, same thing with me and she had, we both had this appreciation of silence. Some shift I can feel, but not yet quite see. This is the moment, dark, screen descending. This is the moment, cleave of an axe. What came before, and now this. And we both had, uh, you know, different kind of troubled youth uh, type thing where she didn't actually go through the criminal justice system, but she uh, was able to relate to some of the trauma that I had had growing up and was able to share what we both uh, knew had uh, dramatically changed our lives. The mural, barbed wire, north block, death row. Their walk in that dark, I can't see beyond. And my turn to the left, past four post, the garden, three chapels, three gates, outside, to the car, where I sit frantic, desperate, driven by light. Bridge lights and town lights and stop lights and shop lights and the light of the lamp I've left on at home. So much light and still I can't see. Can't catch sight of a shape I might understand. All I see are the stairs of a fortress where light cut by grating hits concrete in squares. All I see is where we throw what we don't want to look at, under low ceilings, way out in the bay. Well, being in the prison and uh at San Quentin, and she would bring uh, every Monday chocolate chip cookies. Every Monday I would go up there, and Judy would have chocolate chip cookies, and she wouldn't discriminate homemade cookies. She'd pass them out to prisoners, guards, prison officials, and then she would give me her wisdom. She had a knack for meeting people where they're at in their art. She just saw people as people, meaning that she would go into neighborhoods in San Francisco, uh, Oakland, and teach creative writing and teach teachers how to deal with uh, troubled children and troubled youth. She wasn't scared or nothing. She just, you know, accepted me that I needed to have that space like it was. And after a while, like I said, she's about a year. I barely spoke in there. And after about a year, uh, she had these uh, individual consultations. And she and I haven't shut, shut up since. She had a knack for that. Yes, yeah, she, she would make a point of letting everybody know that uh, we're all teachers and students in life. 